Hello everyone, welcome to Pabli Connect. Today in this video, we are going to integrate two software applications, Google Calendar and Discord. So the use case here is, whenever a new event is created in Google Calendar, automatically send channel message in Discord. Now let us know what these two software applications are all about. So Google Calendar is a calendar service by Google, whereas Discord is an online chat and communication platform. The issue here is that Google Calendar and Discord don't have any integration between them and that is why we are going to use Pabli Connect. So Pabli Connect is an integration software which will help you to transfer data from Google Calendar to Discord. The best part here is you don't require any knowledge of coding. So let me show you this on my screen. Okay, so here I am at Google and now I will go to this URL section over here and I'm going to type pabli.com. Okay, so this is the website of Pabli and now I'm going to hover over this product section and I'm going to click on connect. Okay, so now I'm going to sign in. Okay, so now because I've already signed into my account, that is why I am here. You can also sign up for free in just two minutes. Here, I would like to mention one more thing. Pabli Connect offers a free plan where this integration can be tried out absolutely free. You just have to clone the template of the workflow. The link for the same is available in the description below the video. Once you clone the template, you will immediately get access to this workflow in your account. Okay, so now I am going to scroll down and here at connect, I am going to click on access now. Okay, so this is the dashboard of Pabli Connect and you can see so many workflows that have already been created over here. So now I'm going to create a new workflow and I'm going to click on this button over here. Okay, so now I'm going to give a name to this workflow and I'm going to name it as calendar to discord. Now I'm going to create it. So now here in choose app, first I am going to choose Google Calendar. And now in trigger event according to our workflow, whenever a new event is created in Google Calendar, we want to send Discord channel message. That is why we are going to select new event over here because this is our trigger event. Now you might have a question in your mind that what is this term called trigger event? Let me tell you that automations run on the concept of triggers and actions. It is all about when something happens, do this. For example, when a sale happens, send an email. In our case, whenever a new event is created in Google Calendar, we want to send channel message in Discord. That is why new event created in Google Calendar will be our trigger event, whereas sending channel message in Discord will be our action event. So now I'm going to connect with Google Calendar. Now under credentials, you can see we have two options, create new credential or you can select any existing credentials like this. Now in order to create new credential, you have to connect with Google Calendar. So now here you have to choose in which account you want to connect your Google Calendar. So I'm going to choose the account. I'll allow it. You don't have to worry about your data. Everything is 100% safe and secure with Pabli Connect. So now under calendar, you can see we have three options. So I'm going to choose this one. Now I'm going to click on save and send test request. So now this API response is of the last event that might have been created in Google Calendar. So now what I'm going to do is I'll go to my Google Calendar and then we are going to create an event and then we are going to click on save and send test request. So I'll go to my Google Calendar. And now we are going to create an event over here. So now here I am going to create an event on 28th Jan. So here you can see 28th January. Let us create an event over here. Meeting regarding audit. Okay. The date is going to be same. Add guest. If you want to add some guest, you can directly add here. Location description. Meeting for audit everyone from the finance department have to attend the meeting. Okay, so I have created this description over here. Now I'm going to save it. Okay, so we have added this event over here on 28th. Now we'll go back to Pabli Connect. 
And now I'm going to click on save and send test request. Okay, so you can see we have got our API response over here. You can see meeting regarding audit and you can also see the description written over here. Okay, so now I'm just going to save it. Okay, so here we have successfully finished our first step integration that is integration of Google Calendar and Pabbly Connect. Now we are going to begin with our second step integration where we will integrate Discord and Pabbly Connect. So I'm going to click on this plus button. And here I am going to choose Discord. And now here in action event, you can see we have so many options over here. We have to select send channel message because we want as soon as an event is created in Google Calendar, we want to send channel message. That is why send channel message will be our action event. Now I'm going to click on connect with Discord. Now you can see again, create new or select existing credential. I'm going to let it be new credentials. You can choose whichever option you want. Now I'm going to connect with Discord. I'm going to select a server over here. Continue. Authorize. Okay. Okay, so now here you can see we have some empty fields and we have to fill the information according to our response. So you can see first it is asking us for the webhook ID and the webhook token. So in order to get our webhook ID and webhook token, what we have to do is we have to use this get channel webhook method. You can see over here. So in order to use this method, we have to add an action step over here. So here I am going to choose discord. And now here in action event, I am going to choose get channel webhook because we need our webhook ID and webhook token. So now I'm going to connect. So now here I'm going to choose the credentials that we used last. Save. Okay, so now here you can see channel. So now under channel, we have created many channels in our Discord account. You can see I have these four channels. So I've created this channel called Google Calendar Discord. So I'm going to choose this channel over here. Let us see, it is here, I'm going to choose it. So now here you can see webhook, nothing is showing over here because I have not created the webhook inside the channel. So now I'll go back to my Discord and this is the channel that I've created. So I'll go to my settings and here you can see integrations. So now I'm going to create a webhook over here. So I'll just create it. So I'm just going to name it as SpideyBot itself. Okay, so the channel is here. Okay, so we have a webhook over here. Now I'll just go back to Pabbly Connect. I'm just going to refresh it once. Okay, so you can see it has mapped the name of our webhook that is SpideyBot. Now I'm just going to click on save and send test request. So you can see we have our API response over here. If you come down, you can see the token is over here. And this is the webhook ID. And if you come down here is the webhook token. Okay, so now we are just going to save it. So now I'm just going to connect this again so that our workflow gets refreshed. Okay, so now in our webhook ID, I'm just going to map the webhook ID that we got from our API to. It is here. So this is the ID. Okay, so now webhook token, we have our token also. So the token is here. Okay, message text. So here I'll just map the description. Text to speech, I'll let it be false, bot name. So here I'm going to give a bot name, Google Calendar. Now I'm going to click on save and send test request. Okay, so we have got our API response. I am just going to click on save once. Okay. So now it's time to go to Discord channel and then we are going to check if a new message has come there or not. So I'll go to my Discord. I'll just close this. So you can see we have a message over here, meeting for audit. Everyone from the finance department have to attend the meeting. So we have a message over here. We have successfully finished our integration of Google Calendar and Discord over here. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you this process again with one more example so that you can understand how this integration takes place in real time. So I'll go back to my Google Calendar and I'm going to create a new meeting again. 
So let me create a meeting on 13th of January. That is here. So, okay. Meeting regarding new recruitment. Okay. Description. This meeting will be held for HR department. Kindly be present. Okay. Save. Okay. So I have added this meeting over here, meeting regarding new recruitment. Now what I'm going to do is we'll go back to Discord and then we are going to check if we have got a new message there or not. Okay, so you can see we have the message over here. So the thing here is that you might get a little bit delay in the response. But here you can see I have got the response over here. So we have successfully finished our integration and our integration is working fine. Now I'll go back to Pabli Connect and I'm going to explain you what has happened in our example. I'll just minimize these. Okay, so in our example, what has happened is first the information came from Google Calendar to Pabli Connect. Then from Pabli Connect, the information went to Discord. So now every time a new event is created in Google Calendar, automatically a channel message will be sent in Discord. So we have successfully finished the integration of Google Calendar and Discord using Pabli Connect. Not just these two software applications, but you can integrate any software application using Pabli Connect. If you have any query, you can contact us at admin at the rate pabli.com and you can also visit our website at www.pabli.com. Thank you.